Welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. Today we're doing something different. I came across a news item that I want to share with you and I did that on the company Centify, which you have here in front of you. Centify is a company of a friend of mine and what they do is they look at all the Twitter feeds and even a lot more uh, social information and they try to identify the latest trends. It even works when Twitter is down, which is the case right now, and they have still tweeted yesterday an interesting message um, that they found when they uh, talked to their um, users. What you see here in front of you, they ask their users, will 2016 witness an oil crisis that erases millions of jobs and causes a recession? And 61% of the respondents think yes, 18% think even maybe, and only 21% are confident in the future. What does it mean? Does it mean you should go out of stocks? Not necessarily, actually, because you know this experience is already reflected in the stock price. And as a matter of fact, very famous investors like Warren Buffett say, get greedy when other gets fearful, fearful. So it's actually a good time to buy oil stocks, or at least to look at oil stocks, because at the moment, it seems that everybody wants to get out of oil stocks. Um, let's go back to Twitter, and we go to our homepage on Obermott, and what you can do is you can search for oil stocks. You do this here with the stock filter in the, in the new menu stocks on Obermott.com. The stock filter opens, a query on our database and you can then select what you want. Now I typically go here from right to left, it also works best. I select only the largest companies that I want to invest in. I'm not an expert, I want the managers to make the good business decisions. I just invest in the large companies. I select now just oil and gas and I want exploration and production. Yes and there are a lot less left. As a matter of fact, um, I could further that, you know, narrow that further down to Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and see what we have there. Ah, oh, okay, exploration. Uh, we, we add integrated oil and gas, and yes, and we ha have here now a couple of possibilities. Maybe, you know, Poland and Russia is still too risky for me, so I only look at Western Europe, I deselect um, the whole East. And now what we have here in front of us are just, you know, eight, I think, eight companies in Western Europe that are in the oil business that could be actually interesting to invest. Now I can sort here by value and I have the best value companies in front of me. I could now look into ROPS, you know, Ropsol, Total, or British Petroleum, and this will probably be companies that have a good value for uh, the size of the company. If you're an oil expert, of course, you could do a lot more research and you would know a lot better what stocks to invest. But um, I think if you just want to be with the oil market, any of these companies are probably good bets. Did I do that? No, I didn't actually invest in these stocks for another reason. I yesterday also went, after seeing that um, tweet on, uh, uh, on Centify, I went to the University of Zurich and I visited the lecture of Joseph Stiglitz, the famous economist. And of course, he thinks that uh, we are addicted to oil and we have to get rid of that addiction and the oil prices will and, and the economy will actually need to depend a lot less on oil in the future, which means all the oil reserves listed in the companies are worth a lot less. As a matter of fact, today already the oil companies have reserves that far exceed the market values of the companies, which means, as a matter of fact, that also the other people out there in the world don't think that the oil companies can extract all that amount of oil from the ground. We cannot really burn all that oil that is there to be uh, drilled. Um, so there are two conflicting views. One is, you know, you could get greedy now because everybody is against oil, or you could think, you know, I'm looking to the future and I think in the future it will get even worse. But don't forget, you know, 
the market already has thought about that problem and has already priced in that the future isn't as bright as it could be for the oil companies. So it's a mixed picture as always. What do you do? Now, I make my own decision and this is, I don't really want to be invested in oil companies. I don't like, you know, the majority of use of oil, which is, you know, basically for transport. I think, you know, the combustion engine is an old technology. I like new technologies. I'm a lot more a fan of a Tesla. But I'm also aware that even if you have a Tesla, there are a lot of oil products in a Tesla too, you know, from the steering wheel to the tires and probably even the seat you're sitting on is produced out of oil. So I'm sure in the future oil will be there, but it's not really something that gets me really excited. Now you may think I'm losing out, but that's actually not really true. If you decide that a certain sector or a certain company is not for you, you're not losing anything. Because by definition, the market is trying to uh, value the company as good as it can. They may do a lot of mistakes, but if, you'd have, if you don't have any superior information, you have to assume that the market, that the company is valued in a such a way that its future returns represents the risks. So you can't really, you know, uh, get both and have, you know, higher returns in a certain industry just by deciding to be exposed to that industry because a lot of other people have thought about that too and have already made sure that the prices are reflected, that the future returns are reflected in today's stock market. It means basically that when you decide not to invest in oil stocks, you're not going to have a lower return uh, per se. It, it may be lower in the next couple of years if the market was wrong about the future. It may be higher again in the next couple of years if the market again was wrong about the future. But if the market is more or less correct, you know, then you, know, you cannot expect better or worse returns from a certain industry compared to the others. Yes, this is why I'm not investing in oil. I'm investing in all the other companies that of course also depend on oil and also profit if the climate change isn't as bad as it looks. Thank you for being with us today and see you soon.